Hey guys, Rukshan here. Thanks for joining me for this video. Chris Hipkins, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. What a douchebag that guy is. I'm sorry, I don't often talk about leaders in this fashion, but that guy is full of crap. These people make me feel sick. Now, before I get into this too, uh, too much, I just want to play this video of him at a press conference yesterday answering a question from a reporter where he said the following. Let's have a listen to this. Um, in terms of the vaccine mandates, I acknowledge that it was a challenging time for people, but they made ultimately made their own choices. There was no, there was no compulsory vaccination. People made their own choices. Now, look, he's not wrong in one fashion, but the mandates and the way the mandates were covered uh, and pushed through in countries like New Zealand, in countries like Australia, oh, it's very, very close to people being forced in my opinion, and I think many people who are watching this video, and and just to give you some perspective, I posted this video, I shared this video on my X platform, Twitter, and it's already had almost 2 million views there, right? And many other people have shared this, millions of views all around the world, and people are pissed off with people like Chris Hipkins, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, his uh, predecessor, uh, what's her name? What's the name? Jacinta, Dame Jacinda Ardern. Uh, people like Daniel Andrews here, Justin Trudeau in uh, Canada, Biden. A lot, lot of these revisionists who now speak as if people were given a choice during that time. And look, technically, they were given a choice. They were given a choice like many people have brought up uh, on, on these platforms. Like if a robber held a gun to your head at home and said, look, you can give us jewelry and the money or we can shoot you. So you gave them the jewelry and the money so you wouldn't get shot right? This was a kind of choice that was offered to many people who lost their jobs, who lost their livelihoods, who uh, unfortunately in some instances that we're seeing any evidence of this, who unfortunately were injured as a result of uh, the injections that they took. Now there's lots of evidence for this. Uh, it's very well documented and many governments like the government of New Zealand and the government of Australia have uh, these compensation uh, sch uh, schemes for people who were vaccine injured. But of course, uh, that is not always the easiest thing for people to take uh, part in. And the fact that you you yourself have have to now participate in this scheme after you were injured by this product goes to show that uh, there were many risks involved. And to think that people uh, took this uh, in many instances to keep their jobs, to not lose the ability to visit loved ones in hospitals, to, to not lose the ability to see their children, to be able to travel, to be able to eat food, right? This was the type of, in my opinion, uh, coercion and uh, force that was applied to the public by restricting them. And this guy here, Chris Hipkins, this douchebag, right? He was a part of that. Uh, there's even videos of him talking about, this is prior to all of this now, prior to this election thing, uh, of him talking about, you know, looking for people, searching for people, essentially hunting for the unvaccinated to ensure that they're given the opportunity, right? We're going to get those people as well, right? The unvaccinated in every country, in, particularly in the West, where they had these mandates, were treated like second-class citizens, were shunned from society, and all sorts, all, all manner of things and all manner of descriptions were used to describe just ordinary people that didn't really want to participate in this. And now they're all turning around, right, and saying, oh, well, we didn't, you know, force anyone. Everything was a choice. Everyone had a choice. Everything was rosy. And, you know, it was if you wanted to take the vaccine, you took the vaccine. Uh, otherwise, it was just a choice. You know, nothing happened if you didn't take the vaccine. It was just, you know, it was all rosy. All <laughs> right, let's listen to this idiot once one more time. Um, in terms of the vaccine mandates, I acknowledge that it was a challenging time for people, but they made ultimately made their own choices. There was no, there was no compulsory vaccination. People made their own choices. There was no compulsory vaccination. People made their own choices. Now, this was in re reference to a question asked by the reporter saying another another candidate in this election, which is happening very soon in New Zealand, and I hope this guy uh, loses. Uh, this is Jacinda Ardern's temporary fill-in after she, of course, uh, walked away from the job. Uh, who knows what happened there, right? People have their ideas about that. Now, the question was put to him that, you know, the, should there be compensation for those who lost their jobs for being un unvaccinated, those who were vaccine injured? And he said, well, there's there's schemes already to help people who are injured from vaccines. So, you know, whatever about that. Uh, people who were, who lost their jobs for un being unvaccinated and not, you know, taking part in these mandates, well, they made a choice. But it goes to show you, even if you did get vaccinated, 
right? It goes to show you the way the government is now talking about you and treating you to the, uh, to the effect of everything you did was your own choice. And I would bet, right, I'm, I'm willing to bet a lot on the fact that there'd be so many people out there who took the vaccines because of the mandates. And that's the only reason they took it. The only reason they took it was to keep their jobs, right, to, to see their loved ones and see their families. I know I'm repeating myself here, but I think it's important to stress the point. And that is what these governments right now are doing, right? People like Chris Hipkins, uh, Justin Trudeau, with their revisionist BS that they're pushing through now, where they're pretending like everything was just great. You know, this is what these people are doing. And I, and I just want to show you this other video from Milk Bar TV. If you don't uh, follow Milk Bar TV, uh, please jump on it. He's on X, I believe, and Rumble, uh, Australian as well. And he makes these great mashups. And he's just kind of added to this by showing uh, some more of the things that were said. Now, we saw famously uh, last month, I believe, Pfizer reps in Australia also claiming that people weren't forced. And look, again, they're not wrong in the fact that people weren't forced, but we know how they did it. And any person that's been paying attention know how they made you know people in the, in our communities. Uh, do this by you know coercing them and offering these mandates which is which is essentially a type of force so let's play this video from milk bar tv let's just have a play of this allowed to make their own choices there may be all sorts of different reasons why someone is hesitant to get vaccinated and therefore while not forcing anyone to get vaccinated enforcement measures in place will make sure that everyone is vaccinated. People to have their jobs, to keep their jobs, were forced to have the vaccination. Now, do you retract your statement that they were not forced? Uh, Senator, no, I, I believe firmly that nobody was forced to have a vaccine. There's people that don't want this mandatory vaccine. How do we manage well, this? Well, then they won't be going to work. Okay. It's very, very simple. I believe everybody was offered an opportunity to get a vaccine or not get a vaccine. I don't believe that anybody was forced to take a vaccine. We have said no, you must get vaccinated. Um, in terms of the vaccine mandates, I acknowledge that it was a challenging time for people, but they made ultimately made their own choices. A vaccine mandate is being expanded to around 40% of all workers. You basically see it the two different classes of people. If you're vaccinated or if you're unvaccinated, you have all these rights. If you are vaccinated... That is what it is, so... Yep. Hospitality, hairdressers and gyms can operate at all levels if they ask customers for a vaccine certificate. There was no, there was no compulsory vaccination. People made their own choices. And so it follows that if customers must be vaccinated, then so too must the workers. You get the idea, right? Complete nonsense. And we have the receipts. You can see the receipts. Many people have the receipts. And the anger around these type of comments is only going to build. That's why these these videos go so viral, right? That's why a lot of people, when they see these comments, they're like, how dare, how dare these people like Chris Hipkins, uh, Justin Trudeau, how dare they now turn around and blame the people for doing what they were forced to do through these coercive mandates. Anyway, guys, would love to see your thoughts on all of this. And of course, as always, if you enjoy my videos, please follow along at The Real Rukshan. You can find me on X, YouTube, Rumble, Facebook, Instagram, and Odyssey. I'm also updating my website at the moment, so that could be a, a way to find my work as well because, you know, it's so hard with all this censorship nonsense, right? It's, they've made it so difficult uh, for people like me to make content. Anyway, guys, see you all next time. Take care.